guys, what's up, and welcome back to another video. So if you can't already tell by the title what we're doing today, today we are building a Miraculous Ladybug-inspired dorm. Anyway, so if you don't know what Miraculous Ladybug is, it is a French TV show surrounding um, two superheroes and their secret identities. Um, the two superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir, are superheroes by night, but high school students by day. Um, and the show's main plot point is they're trying to defeat Hawk Moth, um, who is, like, trying to take over Paris and, like, yeah. Um, but the other main storyline is, like, the ship relationships, which I'm not even gonna try to explain because I'm gonna butcher it. Um, anyway, enjoy this cute graphic of it. <laughs> um, anyway, so this... Dorm is inspired by the show's main character, Marinette Dupanchang, who's secretly Ladybug all this time. Um, and this is what I feel like her dorm would look like in the future when she moves out or something. Um, it's super, super cute. I love how it turned out. Um, 10 out of 10. Love it. Um, but yeah, so I try to keep it the Parisian feel, but like older. I don't know. I found that cute little flower wallpaper that I never get to use because it looks so kitty. I put it in this room. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I really imagine this dorm being like the place where Marinette spends her most time when she's not saving Paris and hanging out with her friends. Um, I just, I don't know. I like it. Um, anyway, so this is my first or my first build of my Miraculous series, which is going to be like a three-part series, Marinette Storm, I'm going to do an Adrian Agress Storm, um, and then, of course, I'm going to do like a superhero base. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, um, but I will do it. <laughs> I'm not sure when the Adrian Agress Storm, it will be up sometime next week, so stick around for that, um, but I'm not sure when the superhero base one will be up. I've got to figure out my schedule. Um... Anyway, so this is Marinette Storm. Um, as I said, it's inspired what I feel like she would do in, in her future. Um, I feel like in the future, she would be attending fashion school. And she's kind of like an influencer, sort of. Um, she's very um, fashion forward. She has like a huge online following. Um, people are calling her the next Gabriel Agrest, who's Adrian Agrest's father. Um, anyway, so I got to use some, some of the new items. Well, they're not new, they're like a month old, but they're new to me because I haven't played The Sims in like a month. Um, <laughs> I love that wardrobe. Y'all are going to start seeing that in all of my builds because it fits so perfectly with any kind of build I will do. So, it's going to be in like all of my builds now, <laughs> so... You can count on it. Um, I had a lot of fun decorating this dorm, incorporating like little things I feel like she would use. Um, also, I forgot to mention, uh, you're gonna see how she has two desks. I feel like she would do this, especially since like she had a huge desk at home. If you don't already know, her desk in the show, in like her room, in her loft room, is huge. It takes up like half of the bottom floor. And, it, like, one part is used for um, schoolwork, and the other part is used for, like, fashion designing. So I feel like she would have two desks, one for schoolwork and one for, like, video, videoing. Um, I also feel like she and Alayla would be, like, collab YouTubers. Like, they would have, do so many different collabs, and all the fans would be, like, sick of it, but they still stick around for them because they love the dynamic between Alayla and Marinette. Uh, Lana, Alayla, I, I don't know. I, Alia, sorry, that's it. So, I'm like, I had to look it up for a sec. I was like, I'm not saying that right. That doesn't sound right. Um, anyway, again, super small bathroom, as most of my builds. Um, but it turned out super cute, so I'm not mad at it. Normally, I just forget about the bathroom. I'm like, I will either... Just put it in the very last minute, or I will just, like, take five seconds and do it. Um, it's, like, super, super quick. Um, but I think this turned out super, super cute. I actually took time to, like, decorate it and go through. I put hand soap. I put, like, tissue boxes. I put, um, 
like makeup trays. I put all kinds of stuff. I feel like she would kind of have like a messy bathroom, especially since like she's busy being a ladybug, but she's also busy um, walking red carpets because she's an influencer, but she also has class in five minutes. So I feel like her bathroom would be kind of cluttered. Um, so I try to like show that sort of. Um, it's hard to do, especially since there's a grid. I just should have turned off the grid on this build, honestly. But yeah, I really like how this turned out. Um, I also probably should mention, this dorm is specifically based on Marinette alone, not Ladybug. I tried to find as many red accents, but like, the only thing there, that there really was was like, the red jersey painting, and then like, three red arrows. I, I couldn't figure it out. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so now we're moving on to the main living area. I was going, I'm going to call this a living area. I don't feel like she would use it as a living area. Um, oh, and then I forgot I'm going to decorate the bedroom a little bit. Also, I forgot to mention, this is all in the gallery. Um, it will be on the gallery, but it's in two parts. So the main part of the room, like the hallway, the bathroom, and the like first part of the bedroom is under Marinette Dorm Part 1 on my profile. You can look me up. I am Butterfly Sim underscore YT. Um, and then the second part, which is like the little bedroom half, is on is under Marinette Dorm Part 2. Um, and this is only because um, I could not figure it out. I did destroy a few walls, so you will have to replace them. But it's like five seconds. You all should be able to figure it out. Um, but yeah, this turned out super cute. Um, I feel like she would have some bookshelves because she's, again, college student here. Oh, and I actually put plants in my builds. I don't normally do that. I'm really bad about I forget to do it a lot more than I should. And I found the cutest little bouquet and then the cutest little tree from City Living. Y'all will be seeing that tree from City Living in all of my builds nowadays. Mark my words. Because it's just, it's so cute and I love it. Um, I just, I love it so much and it turned out so cute. Oh, and here's when I was stupid and I tried to figure out how to put, like, I wanted to put little flowers outside the, like, windows. But then I realized that window is not on the grid. So, <laughs> I did the other window, though. Um, which you'll see in just a sec. Um... And then, of course, I tried to use the new table. That new table is so cute. It fit perfectly in that little corner. I feel like like she would have one of those. Like, she would just have a like, cute little table. Um, well, turns out you cannot stick a microwave on a table, which I find is the least realistic thing ever. I even double turned on cheats because I could not figure this out, but I didn't have time for it. I'm like... Screw this. Um, anyway, so I tried to figure it out. It would not work. Oh, and then I tried to put it in this hero tube because I figured it would, it would be, like, a good reference. But it would not fit in that corner without, like, cri clipping out the side. And I realized I could have just made the dorm bigger by, like, two gri like two squares. But I was stupid and I didn't figure that out. So, um... Yeah. Anyway, so here I, I decided to put down a few dishes, especially since I feel like she's a college student. Um, I try to make this as realistic as possible by putting down, like, a few cups and everything. Um, I feel like she would be one of those college kids that stays up to, like, 2 a.m. doing one assignment, and then we'll skip class the next day and forget to turn in the assignment. I just, I feel like that's the vibe right now is giving me. And then here's when I try to put a microwave on the table spoiler alert it doesn't work anyway so i decided to just put like counters down um it was really annoying but i'm like she needs a dishwasher and i get like part of her personality is that she lives with her parents who run a bakery but i feel like her parents would want her to go into fashion design because that's what she loves to do even though she's good at baking i feel like that's what her parents would want her to do so, again, I put a whole bunch of dishes down. I just, I try to make it look as realistic as possible because, um, but yeah, this, I forgot to mention, this dorm could also function as an apartment if you want. It does not have a full kitchen. 
but it could function as a dorm if you wanted it to. Um, but yeah, also if you're just looking for a pink dorm, you know, here you go. Also, please ignore the weird door right there. I try to make it look as Frenchy sort of. What is that style like? I don't know. I tried to make it look good, but it doesn't look good. So, but I feel like she needed like some kind of access to the outside. Um, I did like how the outside window turned out though. It did turn out cute. And then I made like a little um, entrance area. Oh, and then I put a rug down. I'm gonna download some custom content rugs. I've decided I'm going to do that because um, one of my biggest complaints is I will spend either two days or ten seconds looking for a rug because no, like, none of them fit the EA style, like, or the EA style doesn't fit anything else, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it doesn't seem right, you know? <laughs> oh, and then again, I used this cute little university plant that you're supposed to stick on tables, but I loved it too much, so I stuck it on the floor and up upscaled it. I have scaled a lot of things in this build, so I would definitely turn on, oh, also turn on bb.move objects when you put on this build, that way so you have, like, the, um, wardrobe where it's supposed to be, um, yeah, so, I think that's pretty much it, oh, I do a little bit more decorating over here and making this entrance look kind of nice, um, but yeah, um, I think that is it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will see y'all either next Monday or next Thursday. Um, I hope you're all staying safe, happy, and healthy. And again, this will be on the gallery under Marinette Part 1, Dorm Part 1 and Part 2. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.